What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials, pick up your premium membership. It's 50 cents a day. And also, do not forget that I have a whole other site. It's called CMP Kits. That is where you're going to want to go to find samples. That's where you're going to want to go to find MIDI. That's where you're going to want to go to find arrangement templates. CMPKits.com. Also, please, um, if you want to get in touch with me and ask me a quick question, feel free to hit my DMs up on IG at Craftmaster3. It is the fastest way to get a direct response from me, no matter what you got going on. And then, you know, log into Spotify and follow the Spicy Sundays podcast, the most amazing producer podcast podcast the most insightful the spiciest the most hottest of takes that you will find um and today we're going to be looking at how to use ghost notes inside of uh studio one so check this out right ghost notes are huge um especially if you're especially like if you if you like to mess around on the keyboard you know doing something like that So say, so say I wanted to record that in real quick, right? Okay. And I'm starting to, and I'm starting to build out my composition. So let's take these and just kind of scoot them back. Right, now say you know i didn't know I, I you know i don't know scales i don't know what scale to pick over here so i can't i can't utilize um you know I'm, I'm i don't feel real comfortable utilizing the scale lock inside of you know inside of studio one right now so but i want to start creating a melody um with this piano right with this with this piano that i have in omnisphere how how do i how could it be really helpful if I could see those notes? Well, if you go, if you look at your piano roll in your upper right hand corner and guys in any, <laughs> in any software, if you see this little three or four line thing that indicates, that indicates a menu, click it, right? So um, now that we've, you know, now that we've uh, had this uh, open, you could see that um, all of these different, all, all of, all of our different MIDI tracks that we have, right? You see a, um, Serato sample arcade we can now switch in between looking at those so if I click on this I can see what's going on in the dx7 this pencil tool indicates that I can edit these notes if I click that pencil tool off um if I click that pencil tool off you see that these notes gray out and I can't and I can't deal with them anymore so now that I'm on the omnisphere I can go ahead and click in notes <laughs> Say I want to change this guy over here. I'll click this off. All right. Then we go back to atmosphere. Now say I'm like, man, you know, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want this to be in the same octave, but I still want to be able to draw over the notes. All right. You don't have to do, you don't have to do anything goofy at all. All you have to do is right click on this. Where this says transpose type in the number 12 and it'll transpose it up and it'll, it'll transpose it up an octave right
say again if that's if that's still if you wanted to go up even higher you just multiply that by 12 now you're now you're up another full octave okay and you could just you could keep doing this for every track whether it's a you know whether it's a drum track whether it's a midi track um again all you got to do to see a track is click on this one if you want to write in the track just click the pencil tool and you are good to go and that is ghost notes inside of studio one the easiest DAW to utilize ghost notes in you guys keep it simple but don't be basic and we will see you on the next one